Hey, hello everybody, welcome back to some more Lord of the Rings Online. We are here in Tal Methendras, and, uh, or probably not how you say it, I think again I'm saying it different every single time. And we, uh, last episode, accepted this quest, Book 4, Chapter 7, aiding, uh, Termorva. And basically we have to complete the preparations in Termorva, which is gonna be a 10 quest sort of setup chain thing that we're going to be going through and I want to get them all done today in this episode if I can but before we can actually get onto that we do have our hobby gift of the day and of the week which I think is really a perfect time to have a gold present I think because we're getting so much done and we're going to get a really nice gift hopefully so silver first as usual let's see what we're going to get a rejuvenation potion they're pretty good. I mean, everything here was going to be good. Mark acquisition is always nice, even if I just transfer it to another character and just do some uh, skirmishes. So, uh, yeah, rejuvenation potions are pretty good, uh, generally, because they do uh, initial regen and then healing for 10 seconds after. So, um, that's good. Well, every two seconds for 10 seconds after. And then we have our gold as well. Let's have a look at that one. So, that's going to be... A Reputation Acceleration Tome, which gives us a total of 5,000 Reputation, which I'm actually probably going to transfer over because I'm currently doing my Reputation stuff for the Jewelers Guilds because that way I can uh, increase my rep there and get some better Jeweler stuff, which hopefully will uh, help out this character as well. I don't know why I went to the crafting screen, I guess because I was talking about uh, jewelry. And uh, yeah, as well we need to... Uh, Get some Eastern Net Weaponsmith if we can, because... Uh, actually, no, I think Westfold is the level we need to be for this uh, stuff, so we actually need the Westfold weapons. Uh, so if we can do that, that'll be good. But, enough going around and doing whatever. I couldn't think of the word. <laughs> don't know if there is a word for what I was doing. Uh, we have some of these to do, so we need to do the Practiced the Arm. Basically, we're going to look at every single uh, quest ring in here and every quest ring we are going to accept. Because everyone is part of this. I think this is a layered yeah, layered area. And I think all the quests here are part of this one. And again, at the end of this, we do get a really nice item if my memory serves me correctly. It might not be this quest specifically. I'm pretty sure it isn't. It's a quest after, but we should be getting that hopefully soon. So find and challenge Yevin, Olwen, or Wundod. Wundod. And that is actually what we did uh, previously with, I think it was the Ox Clan. I don't think it was the Falcon Clan. But we're just going to have to talk to you, defeat you. you, and I think it's only the one, so we'll just uh, come away a little bit. And once they do that, we're just going to oh, lag out a little bit and defeat the fighter. That's good. And talk to Maya over here, who looks like she's going to send us on actually a different uh, quest as well. Or a different thing. Oh, it's a different set of people. Swords, Ev Eviona, or Orwin. Okay, so... It's not going to show up here. Actually, it will do. There's a... So, all these ones here are the quests uh, that we're doing now, the defeat your opponent, and all these are the individual quests for the ten quests. So, what we'll do is uh, we'll head over here. It looks like this is going to be the person over here that we need to defeat uh, somewhere. You're over here, and there's also another quest we can pick up over here as well. I think, um, no, we will keep this up because we want to know on the map ah, where stuff is going to be. So let's quickly go back slightly, that way we can hit her with the barbed arrow, even though they're not going to be causing any issue whatsoever. Talk to Mayor. That one's now done, we'll complete that one uh, in a second. We might as well just get these done. I will not lead you false. Talk to Eladan Come and Ella here. There are three too many elves in Tumorva. There are three too many elves, did you say? I mean, there's two there. I'm an elf. Are you saying I shouldn't be here as well? Um, What they know about Dunlin, he thinks they and all elves look down on the shorter-lived races. Oh. Being a bit horrible to elves, are we? Not sure I agree with that. This Dunlinding thinks we do not respect his people or their history. What history? <laughs> the most noteworthy event I've ever heard tell of when the Dunlanding invasion of Rohan, which did not last long and eventually ended in defeat. Yeah, you're a bit, uh, <laughs> that's not gonna help us here. You probably, uh, possibly messed up our chances with uh, something. And Ella, Dan is over here, who I didn't actually realize. I didn't see the quest ring when I was looking, so we need to travel there. 
Uh, I think we can stay on our horse for a majority of this. I mean, it's just going to be a lot of traveling to and fro. Maybe picking up an item every so often, because we've now done the uh, defeat and prove your worthiness uh, quest. So I don't think there's another one of those sort of things. And while we're here, we might as well pick up this one. It is my task to prepare food for the warriors. Okay, that's fine. Then we'll talk to Goladir when we go past him. Uh, Goladir being... I'm not actually sure where he is. He's up here. Alright, there we go. Slightly blended in with the trees. That'll be why I didn't see him. There might also be another quest up here. So yeah, we're just trying to get through all these today. That's the plan. We do have a few rangers going around, so hopefully they don't cause any issues. I don't think they would. Uh, and hopefully these elves do not cause issues either. I will be honest. I do not know a great deal about Dunland or its people. Okay. Well, I'm sure you can always learn. That'll be something that happens. I'm sure. So, let's pick up your quest. I think we can jump down, but I'm not actually willing to risk it. Know, See, this is a nice pocket item as well. Uh, I did mention that that other item isn't a pocket item, the one I was on about. It's a usable item that just stays in our inventory. But this is a pocket item, which might be qu quite good, because it's going to give us 70 agility and 23 vitality. So, um, yeah, I think that's going to be where we stay for a little while with that one, uh, with having two pocket items, and that's going to be switching between the token of the Hornberg and the other thing. What's the charm of the Huntsman? You're carrying the charm of the Huntsman. Am I? Apparently I'm carrying the charm of the Huntsman. I think that's actually the item I'm talking about. I think that's what it might be. But I'm not sure it was, uh, or I didn't know it was... Um, on us now. Let's look. Let's look up the word charm. Nope. Also, why do I still have this Ekadunan thing? Well, do those other elves know even the smallest thing about my people's history? Um, apparently not. That's not good. Let's talk to Penrod. And we can go past Mayor actually, past uh, going this, so we can actually go up to... Oh, Charm of the Huntsman. Apparently I'm getting a uh, lag. Yeah, apparently... New quest, Charm of the Huntsman. Defeat creatures in Talmuth, uh, Methedras while bearing the Charm of the Huntsman. So I guess we were given that at some point that I just didn't notice. Um... Because I didn't, Perhaps again, you do notice have it. To teach us in the ways of oh yeah, and obviously there's going to be uh, training, that other quest. I did all. forget there was an extra one. Which is also another reason I didn't want to... Oh, actually, this is it. Suspicious of such I think. I, I feel like that's the item, but I feel like it was better than it was. I f yeah, I feel like it was better... The time I remember before. The learned firstborn. Maybe there's a second one that's similar, but like better. Because I feel like... And we also just got some rep, actually. That's like really cool. So, known to the men of Dunland. New title of, uh, being bestowed. Five lottery points. And uh, obviously that uh, done as well. So when we get friend, we'll also get a discount in travel, which is always perfectly nice. So let's just get rid of those. Find the set of footprints. Right, so we're getting a lot of quests now. We might as well again pick them up, to be fair. Um, do I have to defeat you? Yeah, I have to find both of these guys, not just one now. So Prepare I'm gonna yourself. be defeating a total of four. Prepare yourself. But they're not they're not too difficult. This one has slightly more health, fourteen thousand. I think the other ones have like six thousand, I feel like. Eight thousand, something like that. But it's not gonna be a difficult uh task for us. This way we can then go around here. Golodir should be up in this area. Or near this area. And there's also another quest, I think, over here as well. I think Gold is here. Is that you, Gold there? Yep, there you are. I thought so. There's a this quest over there as well. Curious land. Very different Pick up the basket of apples. We're doing a lot of stuff. Just kind of randomly. Now, annoyingly, we have to carry these all the way back to uh, Adele. I'm not sure if it's actually quicker to do that way. It might be. Because she's at the very bottom of the town, isn't she? She's there. So it might be quicker to do this instead of having to go up and then go around and then go down. This kind of... If anything, it's the more simpler route. Uh, so we can just kind of uh, be a bit freer and 
such. So that'll be good. So, yeah, hopefully. <laughs> I mean, it's only 10 quests. It's not difficult, which is good. Um, now, interestingly, we only actually completed one preparation so far. The other one, uh, which was the this guy's quest, whichever one it was, the guy inside here, actually didn't count as preparations. So I guess it just furthers the story slightly, but uh, it didn't actually... I guess actually gave us that other quest, which is probably part of the preparations, so... That might be it. Thank you for bringing me those you. apples. I will pick up the empty basket. And then go back to Galdir, which the good thing here is because we need to go down, we can just jump down. Saves us a bunch of time. As long as we don't injure our legs, which we're gonna. Oh, because Nope, actually I didn't, because uh <laughs> the game <laughs> got very confused about where I was actually standing, so <laughs> for once. Uh, lag, or rubber banding, or whatever that actually was, was a good thing. So at least God is, uh, doing his job. That's always nice. You are back already. Oh, I see. Pick up an armful of wood. And take the wood back. I'm not sure these actually lower our speed. Som sometimes, like, especially with the, um, festival stuff, you can take the, like, items and carry them. They actually decrease your speed uh, most of the time, but these actually don't, which is good. And I'm seeing at least a lot of, um, I mean, we can already see quite a lot of quest rings around here, but slowly and slowly uh, more we'll be able to, whilst exploring, see where all the quest rings are. Like there's a ranger over there we need to talk to for that quest, one of these quests. There's the quest ring over there to start a quest. Uh, there's Mon uh, Monston, which we need to defeat still, uh, which we might go and do now. Stronger competition. He is right here. So we can just go defeat him after doing this one. I feel like that's a, a good natural progression there. So yeah, takes a little while to do all this, which I guess is why they give you two hours or one. Yeah, a duration of two hours in total. I, Thank you really? for me these branches. Throw the wood in the fire. Their smoke will do nicely. Done. Thank you. Finally done make, with you. 39,000 XP. We are definitely, point. I think, going to get using this XP up today. And uh, I know last yeah, time I was like, oh, we don't have any double XP left. We're going to, you know, n delay completing these quests. But I'm not going to do that today, I don't think. I want to I wanna just get everything done. Even if I know everything's completed and I could be like, yep, everything's completed. We just need to physically complete them. I do want to make sure... Uh, that that is done properly. We need to do these ranges before going to Mayor. Yeah, I want to make sure that everything actually does get completed and it's not like left for me to uh, end up forgetting to do or be confused about why I didn't do something or at least we'll know what we have next on the agenda so we can work towards that in the next episode. So that'll be good, I think. Um, what I might actually do I've seen is we could just get some uh, XP tome, not XP tomes, like not double XP, but like the bonus XP tome, and just add one on. That actually might be a decent idea, to be honest, because um, that's actually not too difficult. That's like a ten-minute thing for me to do um, and attain. So it might actually be worth us doing that. If we I complete all the quests the and but don't finish them, work. sort of thing. Tanning is a complex and lengthy process, but so is the business of war. All right. So what we can do as well is we can put Charm of the Huntsman on because that's also going to be over in this area. There is a boat somewhere right here that actually takes us over there. So I'd uh, prefer using that than you know traveling manually. So we need to defeat creatures over here, so that's just going to be these slippery toads. Uh, then we can get rid of this deed, so that's always good. Then we need to recover a superly tough skin from a slain Talmathrendus ox, which is just going to be over here. So this actually will also count as a beast, so that's good. So we might actually focus on these guys, because it's whether or not we get a suitably tough skin. I mean, to be fair, I was going to say, 
Could just be a case of that and we just get it first time. And then find a set of footprints to the western shore of the lake and all that stuff. So we'll do all this and then we'll do all the um, footprint stuff. Oh, knocked me out. Just wait for me to recover. Final one. Perfect. And then we just need to find footprints. So it says, find a set of footprints on the western shore. So, yeah, western shore. So that's where we are. Of the, like, northwest. So, yeah. Okay, up here-ish. Then. So it's probably going to be this quest thing here. Footprints. There we go. Right, and then we just need to find the Avic Jaws as well, and the other set of footprints. The footprints appear to be made by someone not wearing shoes. Okay. Interesting. Where's the other... It's up here. There we go. They just didn't load in the name on there. So we'll do this, and then we have three more, or rather two more of these to do. Then we can just travel back. Uh, the boat is right outside where the tanner is, so we'll be able to do that. And thinking back at it now, because I don't know how many sort of quests are in their own quest chain, I might not do the double, like the bonus XP thing. Um, I think we'll just live with what we got. If we go over what we've got VIP bonus XP wise, we'll just have to deal with that fact. Um, I, it's not a huge deal. I mean, we're still going to be leveling up. We're still going to get items. We're still, like, level 72. We're over-leveled for where we are, so it's, it's not a huge serve. problem. Right, clean up the leather. Apparently we fill up our inventory, which is not too The good. leather strips have been cleaned? Good. Right, then we tan it. We beat the hides at least, rather. Beat the stretch high to improve their suitability for armor making, because this is part of the preparation to make armor for the battle. For a battle, rather. Uh, and then treated, bring treated ox eyes to Taff bring on the shore of the it. lake, who is going to be over up here? Yeah, thought so. Makes sense. And then we also have... Um, Charm of the Huntsman, who is going to be up there, and then we also have Unwelcome Guest, which is going to be uh, up there, if you did not see. So we can do... Uh, oh! New Cloaks, that's now good. Um, agility, yes. Vitality, Fate is probably the choice I we're going to go for. This armor is to bear the mark of you need the Lakeside Plants, okay, and you need quests as well. Defeat Toads and the scra uh, Scrape no Lizardy mercy. from their thingy. Mark of the Falcon. Is a new thing. So, Lakeside Plants. Yeah, we're definitely going to get um, over the VIP bonus XP. Even without it, we're, I feel like we're going to get very, very close to leveling. Uh, I don't think we're going to actually level. But I feel like if we do everything, we will get close. And today is definitely going to be a very long episode because of this. But I'm alright with that. I'm actually pretty happy for a... A long episode. I like long episodes. They take a while to <laughs> record, obviously, but they're quite fun and relaxing. And when we're doing a lot of progress, it's always nice, which uh, for once we are. So we have no space now because we need to do this. So, yeah, that increases our agility, our vitality, and our fate. We lose the critical rating and evade rating, though. Um, and also, I want to see how it looks. I could just do that, couldn't I? That's actually not that bad a looking... Um, cloak. A lot of cloaks, in my opinion, they kind of just have the same design with like um, a stripe down the middle sort of thing and then just a plain color on the other side. And I don't really like them that much. So I like when a, a hood actually, or when a cloak has um, some nice design to it. Which is always nice. So uh, we'll get this boat actually as well. So I'm pretty happy we got that. That's always good. Then we need to kill uh, four toads? Four toads and scrape residue from their skins. We'll do that and then we'll go use that boat that's over here. Back over there. Go talk to uh, Taff. I think it's Taff that wants them. And uh, everything should work out. I'm not actually sure what he wants these for. 
I think he needs them for the armor. Or at least he says he needs them for the armor. Whether or not he does is a different matter. Might just need them just generally for something else, I'm not sure. Under the guise of it being for the battle. Make someone else do it. Instead of him having to do it. But I trust them. I, I think they're they're fine. I think they'll be nice to us and won't, you know, make us just do stuff for the sake of making us do stuff. Now where's that boat? Is it up further, isn't it? And then we got Ivan as well. There it is. Termova Village. It's not Ivan, it's Iwan. Iwan? Iwan. How are you supposed to stay at? over there? I'm not sure if that one's actually preparation. Oh no, bru bruise a poison to which to fight Toad him. residue? Ah, there it is. Let's see how potent it is. <laughs> Let's see how potent Don't it is. Let's uh, poison someone with it. And grind them into a fine powder. How many am I doing this for, though? Just once. Okay, yeah, that's good. Just the right shade for our purposes. Draw the mark of the falcon on him. Boom. That's that quite cool. Will drive fear into any of the other and then we haven't got any inventory space, so we need to get rid of some stuff. So, uh, as usual, inventory is cluttered. I need space to uh, do stuff. And I can get rid of this, actually. Uh, cloak of the crossroads now. Don't need Kalanad hides. And let's sort it to see what's the lower stuff. A lot of these legacies can go, I think, um, soon. And I think these titles can either just get rid of, or they could um, just be put in like a house or something. Um, green. I want green. I like green. Green's a nice color um, that I like. And we already got the red anyway, so I don't really need that. And our armor is already red. So, uh, don't need that particularly. Right then. Uh, <laughs> we have now done four of them. We need to go back up this way. And we are going to go to whatever this quest is. This is No Mercy for Traitors. So we need to talk to, yeah, Maylona. Uh, so we'll talk to them. I don't think that's going to be a completion of a quest. Um, Winford is that one there. So we'll complete that there. And then loop back around to this one. And if we have any quests that need... Oh. Never taste the poison I don't know why I'm... Yeah, I'm not sure why we're not on our horse for the entirety of this. We've just been walking. Seems very stupid to do. Yeah, we have at least six quests to get done. So we definitely have some more to do after the fact. Um... Oh, I feel terrible. Isn't that... Wonderful. Okay. Uh, morale potion, I think. What does battle potion of restoration do? No, that's going to be useless to us. Uh, health is generally our primary concern. Actually, that's an entirely massive lie. Power at the moment is our biggest concern because we've increased our morale quite a lot. 6,684 in recent times, but it's power and power regen that we need to worry about. Though we are focusing into fate quite a significant bit. It is our third highest. Agility, Vitality, and Fate. Uh, these two can, I, in my opinion, share. Like, Vitality is health anyway, but Fate and Vitality are kind of like... I want them high, but it, I don't care what place they're in. But Agility is always going to be primary for me because more damage. Thank you for your help and theirs. Right, 19,000. Yeah, we definitely gone past that now, and I don't think we're going to complete Thank anything. Oh, we got a weapon. Dire. Actually, Let this Saruman isn't tremble. as good. Okay, it isn't as good, but we might as well pick one up and just see if we can maybe have a use for it, if it's going to be better. This is agility and fate. I think that's going to be our prize. Actually, no. 67,000 item XP. Or a weapon that's worse than our current weapon. That we still need to upgrade that weapon. Because it's level 66. No, we're going to go with the um, XP term. Or item XP term. There seems no reason otherwise to do that. So 7 out of 10 preparations done. Uh, we need to bring these uh, to Wyford or Winford. Or Win4. Because I completely forgot to do that. Because he's like hidden behind this tree. Slightly. 
We can pick up these rounded scales as well. Fast. Did you find any sign of the intruder? Find I'll a suitable place for this, to set the traps near the footprints. Here. Let's get rid of that. Uh, 42 silver is not going to be a massive problem for us. Find a suitable, yeah, find a suitable place to do that. And then my hope is maybe Charm of the Huntsman is like the second to last quest. And then we can just do the, um, this is our final one, I'm thinking, hopefully. We'll see. So the boat goes over here. Then we need to find these footprints. There is one over here. Oh, this would be a suitable place for traps. Where was that? Where, 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 where? Oh, not usable mounted. That'll be why. Set traps here. Can I just set three traps? I can. Okay, cool. <laughs> I had a feeling you could do that. It's better than like... Traveling around, having to find three specific places that it's like, yeah, that's fine, that's all right, I'm I'm okay with you doing that. I'd rather just be like three in a row, <laughs> and and just get the quest sort of out of the way, because I mean, well, you know, if someone does step on them, it's gonna be really really painful for them, you like three the times as painful. Good. We don't want anyone sneaking Right, around. 9 out of 10. Charm of the Huntsman, probably the last one then. So that's good. Just travel over to that. That'll be 10 out of 10. Then we can travel back and carry on with the epic quest, which will probably be in, be in the next episode because we're at 26 minutes-ish. Um, nearly 27 for this episode already. And uh, I said I was just going to get these done for today. So that's what we're going to do. And we also now got these uh, five snapjaw traps, which... Uh, not usable mounted and not usable in combat, but we can just set traps if we want to. But as a hunter, we already have traps set up. And if we wanted to, we could get a, uh, you know, third t um, trait tree set up, which actually goes to Trapper. I do want to eventually do that. And then you can actually set up to three traps with Trapper. I think it's three. I would not um, want to lose this. So we'll see about that. that. But I think it was this one, 70 agility, 23 vitalities, 544 crit rating. The crit rating actually, I think, will make back just below what we lost from the uh what was it the cloak yeah so if we do use that that's always good and there we go preparations in term over 10 out of 10 completed let's travel back to penrod and complete the aiding term over quest Took a while, but uh, definitely worth it. Bunch of XP. You can probably look at how much XP we had at the beginning of this and how many we have now. I feel like we were back at this like line here and now we're basically two thirds of the way through instead of a third. So definitely uh, one of my favorite actual areas for questing because it's just everything kind of condensed. It doesn't take that long to do and you get a whole ton of experience, especially when you have more Lou double Brennan experience to go. So, the prisoner is giving the guards trouble. Lou Brennan wants to see you. Oh yeah, you're not the leader. He is. For some reason I thought he was the leader, but I was obviously completely wrong. I also forgot that this loops around, um, and I thought for some reason I had to travel all the way back. That's very stupid of me. I guess I always forget because of this wall sort of thing. Nope, that's, that's not even that. I just forget because I'm all of not observant. Is alive with the sound of work. Yeah, good. it is good. It's good. Yeah. There are many sides. Uh, clan siding with the wizard in this conflict, but I fear the Falcon Khan would not be able to ready, uh, not be ready if it came to war with them. With your help in the out of the ranges, the Falcon can, can sh bleh, the Falcon can show its talons. Uh, the emissary can't speak today. Saruman sent to us is being kept under watch in the prison cave. Okay, he's in the prison cave. He's called Nai, and he is there. And we also get some uh, fairly decent armor wise uh armor and uh not too great though because we lose well we get more power but we lose morale but we actually get more vitality but it doesn't make up for the l missing max morale and we get less agility so we're going to pick them but we're not going to use them generally seems to be how it goes and i am going to still look into getting some tailor stuff especially since we are at the next crafting level i just hope it isn't like um I just hope it isn't anything like with the jewelry where it only has certain pieces. Um, I would 
find it a lot weirder if it was like that because it's a set normally. Um, though I guess jewelry is a set normally. But I think I'd find it more weird if a jewel, uh, if a tailor only had like two or three bits of armor rather than a uh, jeweler only having two. But either way, we have now done that. We need to talk to Nye in the prison cave. He is down there. But we're not going to go there right now in this episode. We are going to go there in the next episode. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next episode where possibly we might also have some new armor. Maybe. We'll see. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.